Your first alert forecast only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, if you thought it was cold now, from the sounds of it, we haven't seen anything yet because the temperatures are expected to drop even more. Hard to imagine, yes. though. Yes, hard to imagine. And I know that you are from the South, and or at least in the past couple of years. And uh, yeah, I, I readjusted. Tired. Yes, it's quite an adjustment. Welcome to Michigan, for sure. And uh, we're going to test the winter lovers here as much as we can. This forecast is really going to be brutal for even those that love the snow and the cold. Let's start off with some current conditions. It's 12 degrees in Lansing. 11 in Jackson. This is an improvement from 24 hours ago. Last night we were approaching zero and we made it well into the negatives. Uh, winds have gone up and of course you know that means the wind chills are a lot colder than those actual temperatures, but they're from the south so that's bringing in a lot of warm and moist air and we're actually going to bounce all the way up into the upper 20s tomorrow. Some of us could make it into the 30s, much warmer temperatures than what we've seen the past couple of days. It is going to affect our wind chills. We're at negative six in Lansing and Jackson, negative six in Hillsdale and negative four in Charlotte. But those wind chills over the next couple of days aren't going to be so bad. We will see colder wind chills coming up, though. First of all, we have to deal with the snow. Winter weather or winter storm watch has been issued for all of mid Michigan. This starts Saturday evening and concludes Monday at 1 o'clock for all of us. And this is why. Let's take a look at the next 48 hours. A lot of snow coming our way. First, the warm front that pushes us to the upper 20s, low 30s tomorrow. Notice in the morning hours, we're starting off with even sunshine. Clouds start to fill in. And here comes the front and that snow as well. That'll be here Saturday evening right around dinner time. Here comes the front Saturday, and that's moving through. That will drop our temperatures Sunday and also give us a lot of snow. Take Take a look at this at 7 o'clock in the morning. Lots of snow into mid Michigan. In fact, across a lot of, uh, no, excuse me, lower Michigan. And then we're really going to see the snow continue into the evening, picking up even in magnitude. And we're going to end up with several inches of snow as well. Here's a look at how much snow. It's going to be quite a lot. First, starting off really light on Saturday, and then we start to pick things up. We'll get maybe an inch or two Saturday night going into Sunday, though. And by the time we get to Sunday evening, that's when we have a lot of snow on the ground. Five inches by about noontime for a lot of us, getting up to seven, even eight inches possible. We could even see locally more than that. It looks like six to eight is going to be a good range for a lot of us, and that's going to move right on through mid Michigan. So, just about all of us are going to get several inches of snow. Here comes round two. This is going to be a wind chill. We've got the wind chill watch for a lot of us, grass shit all the way down to Jackson and off to the west. And this is going to start Sunday night and then expires Tuesday afternoon at one o'clock. So, this is the second half. And just to prepare for this, we're going to be dealing with wind chills in the negative 20s, negative 30s, even close to negative. To 40 at times, wear layers of loose fitting clothes, and that loose fitting clothes will trap the air and keep you warmer than what the tight layers will do. Prepare emergency kit for the car. If you don't have to travel, that's really the best option, but if you do, just have those emergency uh, preparations ready. And then remember, elderly, children, and pets, all susceptible to this cold weather as well. They're the ones that you want to check on because they're going to suffer just as much, if not more. 10 degrees for tonight. We're not worried about the weather just yet. It will be breezy tonight though, so count on that 10 to 20 mile per hour winds. Same thing for tomorrow. 29 though, it's going to feel a lot warmer than what it has. By the time we get to the afternoon and the evening though, you'll start seeing traces of the snow. And here comes the snow in full force on Sunday, and then in full force after that, the cold temperatures. We'll see two degrees for the high on Monday and uh, Tuesday, not much better. Look at those uh, lows too. Negatives, negative six on Monday night, negative three on Tuesday. And these temperatures, remember, are going to be dealing with the winds as well. So we're going to have those really uh, up in the winds. It's going to be some very cold days. Okay, Ooh. and coming up, we'll talk about how those cold days are affecting some travelers. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.